Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to the Planet Trans and Comic Books channel. My name is Matt, and today we're going to review the crime graphic novel, Write It in Blood. And before we get into that, if you wouldn't mind like, sharing, subscribing, all that good stuff, it really helps me out and lets me know what you guys want to see more of. So with that being said, let's get straight into this thing. All right, so Write It in Blood is an image crime book by Rory McConville and Joe Palmer. And uh, I don't know if this is just like a one-off thing or there's going to be more volumes of it. Uh, it does say volume one, like on the spine, uh, but it is like a finite story. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know uh, if they're going to do just uh, things under the title of Write It in Blood, uh, like as an anthology series or something. But it's about two brothers named Cosmo and Arthur, and they are like the hitmen or like the, the cleaners of this crime family. This takes place in like a desert area. They don't say where it is. Um, but there is a lot of crime families. We think we're talking like the same amount of like crime, organized crime that's in New York or something, <laughs> where there's this family and that family and this other thing and that other thing and the Russians and the, everybody. All those different crime syndicates are in New York. They're apparently in this little town as well, and they control different areas of this town. I don't know if uh, this is supposed to be like a meth town in Arizona or something like that, but it's definitely a little different setting for that kind of story. But like I was saying. These brothers named Arthur and Cosmo work for uh, a guy named the Baron who is in charge of, uh, you know, one of these syndicates. So they, they kidnap this guy named Little and they have him, but then things go wrong. <laughs> Apparently they were supposed to do that and they were supposed to kidnap and then just bring him straight back to the Baron um, for like ransom or whatever. The whole time they're doing this like shooting and kidnapping and everything. One of the guys, Cosmo, is talking about retirement. It's going to be great. I'm going to have a wife and kids. Apparently, this is their last job, or he thinks it is. The other brother, uh, Arthur, is like, dude, dude, shut up. Just stop talking about it. We don't, we, you know, Whatever your dreams are, I don't know if it's going to live up to what you want kind of thing. But things aren't going to go the way that Cosmo wants, basically. Uh, we find out that his brother, Arthur, has been doing something uh, wrong or has been maligning the Baron. Basically, he's been sleeping with the Baron's wife, and that is a wrench in the gears. How can now? How can they now uh, retire without him having to protect his brother, it going bad, him dying in the process kind of thing? So it just throws a wrench in this whole plan that Cosmo had about retiring, where everything's supposed to end up great, and he can be on his own finally and not have to worry about doing crime and killing people and cleaning up crime scenes anymore so it's just like a fun story because it, it just escalates from there you know every time they think maybe they figured out a solution to this it, something else happens that just throws a wrench in the gear things keep happening that they don't expect or people betray them or things like that so it's just an all-around like well-written book where I, you just want to keep reading I, I basically just open this to kind of check out and just plowed through it and you know 45 minutes or whatever it was it was really fun read it's only 135 pages so it's not super long but it's about the the, the length of five comics or so or six comics but it didn't feel like that at all it, just, it was just read really quickly um all the characters are really well written and like they build that story of at first you're just thrown into this thing of who who are these guys cleaning up this mess then like, oh they're brothers then you get like the oh he's gonna retire and then everything that happens after that so obviously i'm not gonna spoil everything in this book as far as like crime and stuff goes, this definitely, it's on the lighter end of crime. We're not going intricate into these families or what their business is or anything. We're just getting like this quick look into the lives of these two brothers who happen to work for crime families and them trying to get out of these families and uh, what that would entail. The art was solid. It wasn't like amazing or anything, but it told everything it needed to. I did also notice it, it does feel very cinematic the way they did the paneling and everything. And all the panels are like basically widescreen shots for cameras. Basically, you could tell what was going on and everything. It told the story fine. It just wasn't fancy or comic booky. Um, it was like bare bones comic book style. But the writing was, to was top notch. I thought it was uh, engaging and fun. And uh, yeah, I would definitely give this one a solid four. I would definitely recommend this one. Definitely check this one out. And uh, with that, we'll see you guys on the next one.